clap? Rob and Dan? Yeah. yeah, I'm Rob, that's cool. All right. Um, so they're here in San Francisco tonight playing a mezzanine. Uh, how, is it, uh, how is it on tour so far? It's been pretty crazy, hasn't it? Pretty eventful. Yeah. And Dan got carted off to the hospital. Yeah. Right. Um, we're just, missing our lead singer. We're missing our lead singer. Um, uh, Chloe's got a cold. Chloe's got a cold. Like a month. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're having a great time. Like gigs. Really Amazing. good. Yeah. He got mugged in Chicago. I think he was, we went to give like a donut and money. It was <laughs> so you talked. Yeah. Uh, said something about injuries. So is Dan okay? Is oh yeah. Well, I've just got the stitches. Okay. Yeah. That's bad. <laughs> the extent of the injuries. Yeah. There was a lot. Yeah. Crazy. What happened? Uh, a crowd surfing incident really, okay. but I was fine doing the crowd surfing, it's just I ran off stage and there was like a low speaker and there was no like, they put luminescent tape on them normally or like paint them white on the corners and there was a little bolt that was hanging down and I just cracked my head on it and just gashed my head open. It's pretty, <laughs> there's pretty a awesome. lot of blood. <laughs> but he, when he was, he was being like, carted away to, to ambulance or was with a towel on his head, loads of blood coming out. And the crowd were all outside cheering him, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> and you guys are no stranger to injuries, right? I mean, yeah. James broke his leg in L.A., is that, yeah. is that what I heard? Yeah, just, I think we just get a bit too Drunk. enthusiastic and drunk <laughs> on the stage. Which is fun and not fine most of the time, but you're going to get an injury at some point. Yeah. We feed off the audience, so if the audience is crazy. Um, you guys are on tour now with Kelly. Uh, yeah, you guys yeah. have been on tour with Block Party before? Yeah, we've toured. This is quite strange because we've played with Block Party and with Kelly now. And uh, yeah, it's good fun. It's good fun. Uh, I mean, I've known Daniel, he's a uh, multi instrumentalist for quite a while. And uh, known Min's in another band called Ignug. So I've known them before and I've just met Lucy on this tour and she's really nice. So it's all kind of sort of like friends that I've known before anyway. So yeah, it's yeah. cool. It's a pretty family vibe. Mm -hmm. you know, and this tour is in support, I'm assuming, of your new album to set to be released? Not, yeah, it's not. I mean, we'll be doing our own tour. Um, this was just kind of sort of like, okay, we've been gone for so long, like two years, two and a bit years writing this album and touring the rest of the world um, so we decided okay we come back we've got to put a little toe in the water first before we just like start booking venues just in case everyone suddenly hated us or something yeah, so, okay. <laughs> forgotten that. so we just like it's like a little sort of okay america still still knows we're here so <laughs> and your new album uh don't say we didn't warn you is that when's that going to be released? uh well it's coming out in january of late January, early February. Um, we put out like one track of it, like for free for download, called We Are the Dead. And um, that's done really well on YouTube and like, the internet. So I'm quite happy. We put that out because people are waiting so Yeah. And, like, we were afraid that someone's going to leak the record. So, like, Rob just did like a video, like, really quickly. He got all the fan footage and stuff like that, put it all together just live stuff and we just put it out without the label it was just like uh, um, and it, yeah we have loads and loads. We, our internet site crashed which is, is a bit funny <laughs> yeah so many people downloaded it how have people been reacting to the new material they hate it no no I'm joking <laughs> no, it, it's, um, we've got like some good radio play in England and Europe with it, even though it's like a free track so it's quite good. Um, and when the I look at the new stuff, live is really, yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about the uh, the influence of John Hughes. Um, you guys had a song on your last album, "Being Bad Feels Pretty Good," which yeah. is a quote from the Breakfast Club. Well, we had the dance scene from the Breakfast Club. Right. Right. right and uh, you guys have a new song 
on the album, which is a tribute. Uh, I think we dropped that. Oh yeah. Yeah, because we wrote that album like well, the album's been written like three or four times. <laughs> so yeah, um, we we did do, uh, do a tour of Australia where we tried out loads of tracks, and uh, that one didn't go down too well live. So I think we just left it. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's not to say that we still don't like John Hughes films. Like, <laughs> well, Chloe hasn't seen Broke. So. Yeah. She's seen Ferris Bueller though. Yeah, she's she seen Ferris Bueller. So. She's seen Weird Science. <laughs> um, you guys had a. I was on your Twitter today. You had an open invitation to Bill Murray. Yeah, that was me. Your your questions were really good. Yeah, yeah, a lot of times people say so. You've got a silly name when you do that. Um, so what's it like doing an English band? Yeah, but your questions are all like really knowing. You know all about us. Yeah. Um, we're yeah, film buffs, aren't we? yeah, I just saw it's Bill Murray's birthday, birthday coming up, and I was like, well, I know he goes to see other bands play, but like he went to see Best Coast at um, uh, South by Southwest. I thought that was pretty fun, cool. So I was like, well, if he's in LA for any reason, I'm putting out an open request to Bill Murray to come to celebrate his 60th birthday at our gig, because that would be just awesome. I'd love it. I don't think I'd end up playing, I'd just be like, Hanging out with Bill Murray, so <laughs> getting on to do Ghostbusters. Yeah. And favorite Bill Murray movie? Ghostbusters. Uh, oh, actually, Lost in Translation. Yeah, Lost in Translation. Yeah. But Ghostbusters is obviously where I first found out about him when I was a kid. But um, like Lost in Translation is probably Scrooge is good as well. That made me cry. Yeah. Then. I don't know about Scrooge. I don't like Christmas films anyway. It's just. Um, but yeah. Um, Another Twitter question. Um, you guys said you were in Reading the other day. Um, you guys are from Reading, which yeah. is better. It's spelled differently. It's right. Spelled, there is another Reading in Pennsylvania, which is spelled right. Yeah. Um, and I think that would probably be a bit nicer. Just yeah. for that reason. The, the only people I met in Reading were kind of. <laughs> I'm sure it's a lovely town, but I got off the bus and. Um, a Native American dwarf in a motor scooter without any teeth zoomed up to me and said, What if I take over your bus? <laughs> and I said, Ah, oh, that's all right, fine. You can try. <laughs> and try then it. somebody drove past and went, Why? <laughs> why? <I don't> <laughs> and my name, why not? It kind of scared me a bit. And then uh, we were, uh, you didn't come out with us, but me and um, a few of Kelly's bands, we went out to this bar called Corkscrew or something like that. And this guy just laughed at us and then took a photo of us for no apparent reason. He just went up to us and went, and then walked off. Just like, yeah. Did you know who you were? Or Sorry? Was it just a random photo? Or? Just No, I think he just thought we looked really strange. And then uh, just decided to take a photo of us. It's a lot of weed smoke, isn't it? It's like all these shops where you just walk in and buy weed. Right, you guys were in Wheat, California, right? Yeah, yeah. that's quite strange. I mean, I was only there for like half an hour to like buy pizza, go to the toilet, but it was quite cool. Yeah. Just like right by like mountains and stuff. Last question. Um, notice the strange obsession with animals. Um, what? <laughs> attack of the 60 foot lesbian octopus. Okay. You guys have the monkeys are coming on this yeah. album. Yeah. And you were in a band called Geraldine the Tangerine Flavored Hippo. Fucking love that! <laughs> <laughs> He's good. He's, He's good. good. He's good. That's when I was 13. Okay. And we didn't have any songs. How did you know that? <laughs> have you mentioned that before? I oh. must have mentioned that somewhere. Well, that's, that's impressive. <laughs> you also know that. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, it's, a, it's a sample we got from this video, but the meaning behind it is like, we're coming back from there. Yeah. We're going to fuck shit up. And Attack of the Six of the Lesbian Octopus, is just, it just sounded like the songs. It sounded like an awful B-movie, sort of. I thought, what's the most ridiculous B-movie? And it's got a really long name as well, and we've kind of got a thing about long names. Like, Attack of the Six of the Lesbian Octopus, off. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into, but it doesn't offend you yet. Is like a radio broadcaster's name. <laughs> and I'll <I'm> wear <a> dream. <laughs> How did you get to 
Now I'm just a bit freaked out. Alright guys, well thanks a lot. No, I just appreciate it. Thank you guys. Robin Dan from Desert Fenji. Thanks a lot. Seriously. Seriously, I wouldn't do that. Where did you fly that out?